Welcome to MAE 10. In this course, you will learn the basics of computer programming using the computer language MATLAB or Octave. This class will start out by showing you the basic MATLAB and Octave commands. Then we'll move on to variables and arrays, then selective execution, which are also known as if statements, repetitive execution, which are also known as loops, input and output, modular programming, also called functions, plotting, and advanced data types. The concepts learned in this class will apply to all other computer languages and after MA10, learning other computer languages likely will be much easier because often your first computer language is the most difficult to learn. You may purchase MATLAB from many different sources. For example, the UCI bookstore sells student, the student version of MATLAB for $99. Alternatively, you can download Octave, which is a free open source version of MATLAB, and I'll show you how to do that shortly. Although MATLAB has a nicer user interface than Octave, both languages will work equally well for this class. You can download the latest version of Octave for Windows, Macs, or Linux machines at the following website, which we will do right now. This is the Octave homepage. You can go to the site where you can download the Octave program by going to the download tab on the left side. Here you may download the executables or the program Octave for Linux, Macs, and Windows machine. So for example let's look at how you can download uh, the version of Octave for Windows. So go to Octave Forge and scroll down a little bit to Windows Installer. This will take you to a page where you can download the executable. I'm going to save this file to the desktop. And this can take anywhere between 5 and 10 minutes depending on the speed of your internet connection. After about 5 minutes the executable has been downloaded to my desktop and by double clicking on it we can begin the installation process and just follow the instructions uh, that show up during the installation. After the installation is complete you'll usually have an icon down here on your taskbar. You can click it to start Octave and begin learning about programming. In our next lesson I will show you how to navigate through Octave.